Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Hobby Mules, a podcast where two dudes delve into the dungeon of tabletop games. And where the hosts are as based as their minis. I'm Josh. And I'm Sam. And we are your hosts for today. Sam, why are you here? Why am I here? I'm here to talk about myself. And I'm here to talk about you. Ooh. (laughs) Uh, So, we decided to start a podcast. Indeed. But why did we start this podcast? Well, we like to talk a lot. Indeed. (laughs) And, you know, it gets to the point where, why don't we just talk into the mic so everyone else can hear our correct opinions? I agree. And why hobby mules? Mules are... Slave animals. Much like we are slaves to the hobby. Indeed. This is kind of cute how, like, one of us will start something and the other one will finish, <laughs> finish it. Finish it, yeah. Oh, um, oh. We're cute here. We're, uh, we're sweethearts. Yeah. <laughs> hobby sweethearts, maybe. Mules are stubborn. Oh, yes. Lazy. Lazy. Much like ourselves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Correct opinions. I already mentioned that, Josh. Always. Whoa. <laughs> you even see the notes, boy. I think you're incorrect in this. Jamie, Jamie, can you look that up? No. (laughs) Well, Sam, Uh, how did you get started in the hobby? How did I get started in this hobby? Well, I played D&D when I was like in the sixth or seventh grade. And, you know, after a few years of, of being a player, I thought to myself, I could do this way better. But to be able to say that, I actually did. So then I started DMing. And the moment I started DMing is the moment I fell all into this tabletop hell tabletop realm i just got sucked tabletop in tabletop purgatory tabletop purgatory that's right that's now what right. what edition did you start with did you hop into fifth edition yes i did hop into fifth edition and oh boy i i'm not i'm not a huge fan of it uh, the other editions are way better or i'm not a big fan of roll 22 oh boy i i've since realized that i want to form the ultimate game of D, and i don't need fifth edition for that and I don't need online play for that. I need miniatures that need to be painted well. Dungeon tiles. Dungeon tiles. Mm-hmm. Uh, a story that's all my own, you know, you know. Uh, but, but yeah, after, after I figured that out and started doing it, Warhammer came next and just everything else tumbled away from there. But what about you, Josh? Well, Sam, I'm a husband. I'm a father. But most importantly, I'm a gamer. The best thing to be. <laughs> And my venture into tabletop games started with HeroScape when I was, like, eight. I got the first starter set, and it was very eye-opening for me, because my whole life I'd played Monopoly. Life. Sorry. You know, Sorry. Feel, I feel you on that. And all of a sudden, HeroScape came along, and it was like, oh my god, board games can be fun. And cool. Oh yeah, very cool, Josh. The pre-painted minis, the dice chucking, the terrain, it sucked me in instantly. And then after that, it was like... You know, like, Magic, Kill Team, 40k, Age of Sigmar, Underworlds now, Gaslands, um, basically every war game. Yeah, basically every. Uh, looking around this room, there's there's quite a few different ones. <laughs> Your games are very impressive. You must be very proud. Oh, yes. Um, I have a long and girthy pile of shame. It's okay, we all do. Mine's not as girthy as yours, though. I've seen yours. Yeah. You're actually staring at it right now. I'm in awe, to say the least. I was going to ask, what's your favorite aspect of the hobby overall, then? Oh, boy. Uh, that's a tricky one, actually. I know. Um, Actually, uh, narrative. narrative. I'm, an, I'm a narrative player. I like seeing cool stories be told through the dice on the tabletop. I feel that. I really. It's so cinematic like I'm, sometimes. I'm know? not a spike. I don't like competitive play. I just want to show up, and I want everyone to have a good time and to tell a cool story as we play a game together. Hell yeah. What's your favorite aspect, Sam? Mine? That's... I'd say that's pretty dang close to mine also, honestly. The other thing that really comes to mind when I think of a war game or a card game or whatever else is the art, you know? So... Ooh, yeah. Whether that's, like, physical, like the minis, or, like, Magic the Gathering, man, some of that old Magic the Gathering are just hits different. Poignant. It is, mmm, it is good. Yeah, I completely agree. The, the art style of a game really sets the mood, and it'll turn you off or turn you onto a game right off the bat. Oh, 100%. Like, I know Magic the Gathering, for me, I I, I tried Yu-Gi-Oh!, but that, that just wasn't my style for the art. <gasps> yeah, I know, I know. 
but but Magic the Gathering, I got I got a pack. I saw the art and like it, it hit me like a freight train. Like whoa, uh, conquistador vampires, <laughs> pirates, dinosaurs. This is awesome. Holy shit! Ah, excellent. Good times. Good times. And we'd like to wrap up every episode talking about what we've been working on this week in Hobby Town. So, Josh, what have you been working on? Um, for me this week, it's been Orktober in full swing. So I've I've got an Orc Combat Patrol that I based, primed, and I've been preparing them for Slap Chop and testing out my green paints. I've I've seen some of the test models, and I gotta say, Josh, the uh, Gilly Do, the Gilly Do. I still gilly. think the Gilly Do, but I know you you're like leaning that, towards. You like that Gilly Do? I'm I'm torn. I like the Gilly Do, but it's kind of like Hulk skin. So it's it's that <laughs> or that or Vallejo lime green with bile tan green on top. Admittedly, both look really good. So either way you go, I don't think you'll be doing it wrong. I guess there's no wrong way to do it. They both look good. Oh, you know? thanks. Him. I think the only thing we can agree upon is that orc skin, the color. Makes for shit orc skin, unless you want them to look like Christmas trees. Oh, like the speed paint? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeepers. Yeah. But, yeah, that's that's what I've been working on. How about you, Sam? So, this week, I think I've told you about Ralpartha Legacy. They are this, they're this company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually based uh, in Ohio. Much? much like, I believe, the original Ralpartha. Oh, okay. Like, the company was based in Geneva. Maybe not Geneva, but around the Great Lake. Oh, okay. Very but cool. But this company... I stumbled across them just randomly. They they have all the old casts for the old Ralpartha models. They buy them up and then they recast them and sell them. So I bought a bunch of models from him, uh, the main guy. And I, I emailed him and I said, like, hey, uh, I see you're looking for painters. Do you want me to paint some stuff for you? And I sent him some stuff. And he's like, oh, heck yeah. We'll, we'll let you pick first. Oh, you want these Chaos Spearmen and these Egyptian chariots? Sure. And if you paint them up and send them back and they like it, they'll send you free minis. Ooh, so okay. I, so yeah, so I've been, I'm working on the, I've gotten six Chaos Spearmen done, and I'm working on the next six. It's, it's good. I, I like how simple they are. Okay, very cool. Yeah, those old models, for such limited detail, they have so much character. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. And they have, they have the old model, like, cast, where both their arms are out flat. <laughs> arms up, <laughs> legs wide. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Well, with that. Well, I hope you guys know a little bit more about us now yeah. and what we're going to talk about, which is it's really whatever we're into that week, whatever we're working on, what we're playing, what has us excited about this hobby that we love or what has us furious, you know, either way. Oh, boy. And, you know, I'd say there's a lot both ways. I see I see that little grin on your face, Josh. <laughs> there, there are a oh, lot of oh, things. There's so oh, many great things. 5e. Oh, you're, you're going down. 5e. <laughs> But but before we get into that, I think I think we better end it. <laughs> All right. Well, I've been Josh, and I've been Sam, and we'll catch you next time. Hi. Right. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs>